All right, so we are going to learn about triangle mid segments, and you guessed it, it's a segment in the middle of a triangle, if you read it backwards. Um, so a mid segment is a segment joining two midpoints of two sides. So I have a midpoint here, and I have a midpoint here. So I know that AD is going to be the same as DC, and then I know CE is going to be the same as EB, and that tells me that D and E are midpoints. And then this thing right here would be the mid segment, okay? There are some cool things that happen when you have a mid-segment. So, for example, if the mid-segment is going to be parallel to the third side. So, what that means is this DE is going to be parallel to line AB. Okay? So, notice they gave us those little arrows down there telling us that they are parallel. Okay? Um, the second thing that happens is the mid-segment is going to be half of the length of the third side. So, for example, if I said DE was 10, I know that AB is going to be double that, so 20. Okay? Also, if you think about it, if they gave you the third side and said it was 30, then to find the mid-segment, you would half it and get 15. Okay? So, again, the mid-segment is half of that third side, or you could say two of the mid-segments would equal that third side, okay? It's all about how you want to think about it. If you like fractions, go with fractions. If you don't like fractions, deal with doubling the mid-segment, okay? All right, time for some practice problems. So given that L is the midpoint of DC and M is the midpoint of DE, find LM, okay? So obviously, I know LM is going to be half of this third side, so LM is going to be 10, okay? Yes, it is that simple. Um, find VT. Um, VT down here, so it's going to be double this length of 11, so it's going to be 22. Cool? Yes. Awesome. It gets a little bit harder because there can be equations. So looking at this equation, I know that D is the midpoint of LK and C is the midpoint of LM, so I went ahead and made those points. Um, I need to solve for X, and then find DC and find KM. So again, you can set this equation up two different ways. Um, you can say that two of these will equal this whole thing. So you could say two of the 3X minus sixes will equal 4X, and that's one way about looking at it. Um, you can say um, half of the third length is going to equal the mid-segment, and you can solve both ways. So again, I like the distributive property way better, and get 6x minus 12 equals 4x. Um, subtract 6x on both sides, and get negative 12 equals negative 2x. Divide by negative 2, and get 6. Now, would you get the same thing if you did it the other way? Yes, because half of 4 is 2, subtract 3x, subtract 3x, negative 1x equals negative 6, and then x equals 6. So you get the same thing, no matter which way you like to do better, pick your favorite way. Um, but we are not done because it wanted us to find CD and KM, so we're going to plug 6 back into here. Um, 3 times 6 is 18. 18 minus 6 is 12. Okay. Um, we could do some math. Um, and double 12. And obviously this should be 24. Or again, we could plug in 6 into that. And 6 times 4 is 24. So it did work out. Okay. So that's how mid-segment can get a little bit harder with equations. So again, two of the mid-segments equal the third side or half of the third side equals the mid-segment. Okie doke, moving on. Um, so what about mid-segments on the coordinate plane? Um, how can we prove that? So you obviously need a midpoint. Um, hopefully you remember the midpoint formula. If you didn't, it's x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. That's the midpoint. The other thing you need is the distance formula. So you remember you could do 
um, Pythagorean theorem, if you like that way. Um, or again, the distance formula, it's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And then thirdly, you need to make sure things are parallel. So you might need the slope formula, okay? Slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Slope. Okay? So 1, you need to make sure that point D and point E are the midpoint using this. Second thing is you need to make sure that they're parallel. So you got to make sure that DE is parallel to AB using the slope. Remember, they're going to be the same slope if they're parallel. And then lastly, you're going to have to make sure that this DE segment is half of AB. And you're probably going to have to use the distance formula or the Pythagorean theorem to find the sides of the mid-segment. So are you ready? Of course, we are. So again, first thing you're going to have to do is plot the points. They're going to give you lots of points. Draw your triangles. Plot them. Second thing, find the midpoint of both of the sides. Okay. Then you're going to draw the segment that connects your two midpoints. You're going to find the slope of the mid-segment and the slope of the third side and make sure they're parallel. Lastly, you're going to find the distance of the mid-segment, the distance of the third side, and make sure that the mid-segment is half of the third side. And then you have proven that you have a mid-segment of a triangle. So, whew, it's going to be a little bit. There's a coordinate graph. But let's look at these points. So, you have triangle ABC has vertices ABC. So find the mid-segment and verify that it is a mid-segment. So first thing, plot your points. So press pause and plot your coordinate points in the next graph. So when you graph triangle ABC, you should have noticed that it's a nice triangle, okay? So mid-segment's probably going to be somewhere in here, okay? So it's nice because one, I can count these boxes to figure out the distance formula. And I'm not going to have to do um, the distance formula. So I plot my points. Find the midpoint of C, A, and A, B. So again, C and A to find my midpoint. I'm going to add my x's. So 0 plus a negative 4 and divide by 2. That will give you my x. Come on. Um, add my y's. And 6 plus a negative 2 divided by 2. So that's finding the midpoint of C, A. Um, 0 minus 4 is negative 4 over 2, and negative 4 over 2 is just a negative 2. Um, 6 subtract 2 is a 4, and 4 divided by 2 is a 2. So the midpoint of CA is at negative 2, positive 2. So if I go over here and go to negative 2, positive 2, there's the midpoint. My triangle was a little bit off, okay? All right, um, now A, B, my midpoint, I'm going to add A and B together now. So add your X's, 0 plus 4 over 2, and then add your Y's, 6 plus negative 2 over 2. So 0 plus 4 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the midpoint of A, B is going to be at 2, 2. So if I go over here and go 2, 2, there is my midpoint of AB. Luckily, it lined up with that CA term. Okay? So here is my mid-segment. Okay? Did it want us to call it anything? Nope. Oh, construct it DE. So we'll call it DE. Okay? So once you've constructed your mid-segment, we need to make sure that DE is parallel to BC. Okay? I obviously know they're parallel because they're both horizontal lines, okay? Their slope is a zero. So I could say because their slopes are zero, they are parallel. Okay? All right, last but not least, can't see that down here. You need to make sure that DE is half of BC. So what I need to do is count my mid-segment and the other line. So if I count from C to B, it went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight. And guess what? The mid segment is one, two, three, four. Okay? So because DE was half of CB, that's going to be your mid segment. Okay? So I really can't prove that in writing, but I could say DE was four. So since four is half of eight, it worked. Okay? So I know that I have proved that this is the mid segment of the triangle. Okay? Obviously, this is a simple example because you can count the boxes. But guess what? You can have a triangle turned on its side, which is what we are about to do. All right, we have a new triangle. And I'm going to give it away. It's not nice. So why don't you press pause and graph ABC on the graph. So when you graphed ABC on your graph, you would get a triangle like this. Okay? So it doesn't look that bad so far. Um, but it wants you to find the midpoint between CA and CB. Okay? So first off, let me find the midpoint of C and A. So I'm going to add my x's. 4 plus 0 over 2. Add your y's. 6 plus 0 over 2. So the midpoint of CA is going to be 2, 3. Okay? Find the midpoint of C and B. So I'm going to add those to 0, 6 plus 0 over 2, and then 0 plus 0 over 2. So I would get 3, comma, 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay, that's going to be the midpoint of B, C. So let me go ahead and graph those on the next page. So 2, 3 is going to be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Again, I drew my triangle lines a little bit off. And then it wants me to find the midpoint of BC, which is at 3, 0. Okay, so what we notice is my mid segment is kind of turned on its side. Okay, so I can't count the boxes and find the distance of that new um, mid segment. I can call that point uh, mid segment DE. And so now that I have it, I need to make sure that this line is parallel to AB. And then I also need to make sure that DE's length is half of AB's length, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is show that DE is parallel to AB. For DE is parallel to AB, we can do two things. We can count the slope and do rise over run on the graph, or we can do it um, algebraically using um, the slope formula. But first, I think it's easier just to count slope over, and do rise over run. So I notice that I go down 3 and over 1 for my slope. So DE had a slope of negative 3 over 1. Okay, let's check it with A to C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down 6 over 2. Okay, so that slope will be negative 6 over 2, which also gives me negative 3. So what I've proved is I've proved that DE is going to be parallel to AC. Okay, so if we just want to write DE equals negative 3, AB slopes was negative 3, so it checked out. They're parallel. Okay. Now I need to prove that this distance is half of this. And to do that, we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. And the good part is we already have the slope. Because this length had a side of a 3. This length had a side of a 1. So I would do 3 squared plus 1 squared to give me c squared, which is, I don't know, that diagonal length. Um, you would end up getting 9 plus 1 to get 10 equals c squared. And when you square root both sides, you would get 3.16. So that's the length of that mid-segment. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to find AC and use my right triangle of a 6 and a 2. So I would do 6 squared plus 2 squared equals my C squared. Um, and get 36 plus 4. So 40 equals C squared. Square root both sides. And you end up getting... Um, 6.32, okay? Now, and since 3.61 times 2 is going to get you that length of 6.32, it worked out, okay? So we could show down here that 3.16 was half of 6.32, so it checked out, okay? So I proved that the distances were half. I proved that they were parallel. Okay, and I w they went through the midpoint. So that's how you prove um, something to be a mid-segment on the coordinate plane. Okay, thanks for watching. 
Now you can practice.